This episode of Vic's Basement is brought to you by EB Games. Support us by buying your video games at EB Games. We should start with don't waste your money on the movie. Do not go to see this don't movie. Don't support the movie because if Fox makes enough money off of this movie, they'll think it's a successful movie and they'll make another shitty Fantastic Four movie yeah. and this will be the beginning of the end of good superhero movies and that has to not happen because Ben Affleck has got to find another wife. And right? <laughs> And have a whole new life as, oh as our, our new we Batman. like your People magazine, but listen, yeah. will you leave it outside the basement. I, I will leave my People magazine. No, but listen, this Fantastic Four movie is dog shit. It is absolutely atrocious. Tell me atrocious. one good thing about it, though. The I casting really, is listen, good. The I cast really is like good. Kate yeah, yeah, Kate like Mara is good. All the actors are. And confident. Miles Teller, you don't like Miles Teller. I know, you, but Kate Mara, I you, really like. You know yes, what though? Know. Watching Kate, all of the supporting <laughs> actors around the four leads are not good. No. Not especially good. Can, the can the, I uh, the guy that plays the father to uh, the Storms, Professor Storm, his, he's just he sounds like he's reading a trailer. Yeah. Like every line that he says in the movie is like, I've got to say something deep and really yeah, meaningful I, because no, it's going to go the into the trailer. That the director is not putting himself under the bus. He's putting the studio yeah. under No, the he's bus. saying the studio messed with this movie, yeah. which I'm <laughs> sure... Bold. No, but I, I'm sure that actually did happen. Well, I'm sure he's not saying that out of, out of nowhere. Here's my idea. And listen, Josh Trank is... Uh, He's a, a, a few circles removed from us, you know. I, well, none of us know him personally, but we yeah. know people that do know him. I'm sure he's a good guy, and I'm sure he had nothing but good intentions here. We liked Chronicle very much. Uh, but I feel like there is a, a, uh, a target on his back, you know. Yeah. And ever since the news started to filter out from... Uh, New Orleans that he was throwing things around on the set of the of the movie. Oh, and, is that true? Yeah, he, he got, trashed a hotel and he had his dogs and he had oh, had a huge bill that he had to pay and no. then he was taken off of Star Wars. That all started to percolate around the same time and it feels like everybody knew this was shit, this movie, and they started to shift the blame and the spotlight over to Josh Trank's Fantastic Four. And whether he feels he got slighted by the studio or not, he is now... Uh, in the crosshairs of Hollywood, and I really, I, I gotta wonder if he's got a play here. Is he got another movie that he can pull? Because well, this I, is, but I think this is great though. Awful, I, this movie. I think it's fantastic that he's making this kind of a bold statement, and that's exactly what it is. It's a bold statement. He's saying, "Listen, this is not my fault. I tried to make a better movie. The studio screwed me, and he's screwing fans of the Fantastic Four, comic book fans." Well, he, what? Me. His choices are stupid. They're, but what's, they're, but what's they're terrible. What's going to happen here, though? Uh, th this movie does not fit with what Fantastic Four is about. No. This is a movie that's but, supposed to be about the space race and about listen, you know cosmic rays I, and, okay. and and going up into space. And he's got them you know casually jumping in between dimensions in this movie. It doesn't make any goddamn sense at they all. They do jump between dimensions very yeah, casually. Yes. These are not all his choices, though. He's they, one of the people who is at meetings to make these kinds Blake, of decisions. Blake, that's something. Uh, yeah, before. Before we go on, Vic, are you sitting on your mic pack? I am. Yeah. Getting weird getting mic practice. coughs from you. Yeah. Okay. Maybe just, is that yeah. better? Yeah. Is it just, kind of point it towards me. Is that is better? It just, yeah. Is, th is it just that Vic? Okay. Or is, is mine okay? Because I put my mic. Everyone else is fine. It's just okay. Vic. It's my metal butt implant. I'm sorry, uh, everyone. Yeah. I know. Well, listen, the great thing about this is. Stories. I'll get into it on another podcast. Okay. Okay. The great thing is now that he's screwed himself and set fire to the bridge and burned everything down. Totally screwed on Star Wars. Screwed in the Marvel world. But he can go back to making something that he really does have a stake Who's going to give him money? Somebody will no, give him money. No, he'll do a he, Kickstarter. He'll lots of money away to lots of assholes every day. Yeah. That's he true. He can find money. He has talent. I liked Chronicle. I yeah. never like anything. And yeah. I liked Chronicle. And I was rooting for this, this even guy, though it felt doomed from the outset. Like the Fantastic Four, yeah. new movie, the last movie, I'm still so bitter about, yeah. which is part of the problem that I have with the Star Wars prequels. I'm still so bitter about those. I don't yeah. want to see any more Star Wars. I didn't want to see the, the Fantastic those Fantastic other Four. Fantastic Four movies are masterpieces compared to this. Compared to this. Yeah. They, they yeah. really are. Like the casting in those movies was so much more electric. But I think the great sure. thing is, like you can see the way that these huge circuses can go horribly wrong. Well, and these things, that, and, makes, and that makes that, you appreciate the Avengers 2 even more. Yeah, but it also so makes huge. you question Josh Trank's, you know, complaining and pointing his fingers because he's a co-writer. He's a part of the... The uh, the mechanics of what the framing is on this movie, and he just made stupid choices. He cast boring actors would, in, uh, in the kid roles. But would you 
Would you feel comfortable directing a Fantastic Four movie? Fuck yeah. Really? I would, I would have a blast with it. Oh and and I would make sure... Like a nightmare project. And I, sh- I would make damn sure that the movie was a blast it, to see and to watch, you know? And I would frame it with a sense of humor and a sense of lightness and a sense of color. They took the goddamn yeah. color out of the yeah. Fantastic yeah. Four movie. Was there one moment for either of you where you felt like, oh, there's the, there's the movie this should have no. been? No. Not I, one, I not hated one thing. every oh freaking moment from start to finish. It was just off. It was a wrong note. It was so dour and dark. The the kid that they cast as uh, Ben Grimm is just, you know, just looked uncomfortable. And, you know, they didn't look like they had a real relationship. The, yeah. the brother and sister sort of pairing doesn't feel real at all. You cast Miles Teller and you cast Michael B. Jordan, two of the most... Uh, you know, ripe with comic timing actors that exist in Hollywood right now, and you make them boring. Yeah. And Kate Mara's fantastic on screen. We saw her be completely electric in House of Cards with a smallish role. She totally owned those scenes with one of the best actors in the world. She disappears. You know, literally, literally in this movie. disappears. Yeah, yeah, they they actually leave her behind. Uh, they create this their own story here of how they get their powers. Okay, yeah. so it's not the gamma rays that we know from comics. Um, so they, they left her behind I think completely. It's cosmic rays. Or I think I screwed rays? up. I think that's the gamma rays for the Hulk and cosmic, cosmic rays, rays for. Fantastic okay, well Hulk. there are rays involved. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but they completely like the guys get together and they completely leave her behind, and yeah. she just happens to get blasted so what we do with. with women? Well, that's what I'm saying. They, they left her behind completely. It's the only one woman in this movie, and you just leave her in the dust every single time. Her powers are valuable, and you don't even feel that at all you don't, th- with the four of them. They don't have any goddamn fun at no. all with so this thing. So what was the reaction from the audience when the screening was over? Everybody what? left oh, you, as soon as possible. Oh, was a suppress screening? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, people were leaving before the credits were rolling. Did anyone Everybody left. Boo. Well, Everybody no, just couldn't believe it. We were just shaking our head. I mean, honestly, this is a... It's it's so unbelievably shitty that and you just can't you can't wrap your heads around. They they said okay we're good ship it you know like it's yeah. so terrible and how they it's have like no one had any quality control on this. They thing have at all. this government official. Uh, he's in there and then all of a sudden as he gets more sinister he starts chewing gum obnoxiously like that's how we know he's gotten more sinister like that's that's how you're pulling the audience in and the obnoxious gum chewing I can't nobody wants that in yeah. real life or on camera he's I don't want to see that flip-flops too. and he's probably wearing <laughs> jeans and flip flops you know how much I hate that and you know what sucks is that this is a really cool property about a family of superheroes I never like fantastic films. I know because they have been yeah. handled right but the comics are fantastic and no pun intended and the uh, animated stuff that they've done around it just the idea the concept of this family band- banding together yeah. uh, that gets this really horrific accident happened to them but they turn the tables on it and they end up banding together and they face all kinds of crazy odds it's great fodder for an excellent thing and I I actually believe that you know I'm not a big fan of either of the previous Fantastic Four movies but they got a lot of the tone right with with the dynamics between the actors and some of the sequences and that's what they should have gone for they shouldn't have tried to out Christopher Nolan you know you know, darkness with this movie. It just makes no sense at all. What about that, the orange guy? What's his name? Uh, Johnny Storm. No, the, the, no, the, the stone rock. guy. Oh, that's uh, Ben Grimm. He's the thing, yeah. The okay, thing, so yeah, but he... Jamie Bell, another fantastic actor How with great this? comic chops. He's been in some bad movies. Yeah. Something playful. The thing versus Groot. Who wins? Uh, oh, Jesus. Um... I don't know. I don't know enough. Like we didn't see enough of Groot. We just saw a bit of Groot. Uh, I, I think he does thing, a lot. I think, How about the thing I think versus Vin Diesel? Boulders. Vin Diesel. No, rocks. <laughs> All right. I didn't know you guys <laughs> would take it so literally. I'm, I'm d- I was just <laughs> you just spit like, everywhere. Oh, sorry. The one thing that I did like was when uh, Doom. I, I don't give a shit if I'm spoiling this. Don't go see it. It's just terrible. don't go don't see it. Don't spend any money on it. I'm so glad you didn't give it your usual. You figure it out six. Uh, listen, this makes Green Lantern look like a goddamn masterpiece. Green Lantern was one of the most miserable things I've ever seen. Right, and I, and w- I I love it now compared to this shit. It was like it was so much better than this. It was unbelievable. Well, I mean, it was bad enough that I was laughing at times I shouldn't have laughed you know like there was some entertainment value there because it was so bad I we could, had those I moments bl- I was just angry for the whole thing I was just like I'm That's not saying you should go every time I go to the movies <laughs> yeah, I, 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 uh, I channeled you I you know what I kept film. thinking I can't help but think of it is uh, how good Guardians of the Galaxy was yes exactly how can you surprise. not think and, about and that we were complaining about Ant-Man and I, I still think it's my least favorite of the Marvel movies but that also is a triumph compared to this garbage but you the know the thing is it's like 
if you're gonna go to the movies, and I'm moving more to the abstract now, we can go back to being in the yeah. Fantastic Four. Are you gonna Four. complain about the commercials in front no, of the No, I'm not gonna it? complain okay. about that, but I think because we haven't talked about that. You enough. need a really special reason to, to go, go yeah, to the theaters. Get off your ass and go, you, yeah. Because yeah, it's hard to do, and yeah. you have to make effort, and it's expensive, yeah. and it's unpleasant. There's so yeah. many things that are unpleasant about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But So if you're gonna go, you wanna go, you wanna walk away with a great experience. Now, I saw Ant-Man this week. Yeah. I didn't love it. I thought it was really mediocre, yeah. really middling. I expected more from everybody. I, I love that Edgar Wright's involved. I love that Paul Rudd's involved. Mm-hmm. And Me too. I love Evangeline Lilly, like, and I love Michael Douglas, and it's just like, it all does it come squandered. together yeah. and I just feel like it should be so much better than this Edgar and it's Wright such should have directed the movie yeah. s- such a mediocre unsurprising kind of piece of crap the only thing in the Fantastic Four movie that actually was kind of cool uh, was when uh, Doom Doctor Doom it starts squishing heads and stuff and has some powers so you had some you had that moment there was a moment for me when they were all in the hallway of I mean they're always in hallways in this movie there's yeah. not really anything it more than a studio it takes place in one goddamn yeah. location too. but it, it started to feel this. like a horror movie a little bit because yeah. Doctor Doom was out there and he Squishing was just spl- he was he was making people's brains splatter in their Looper-esque. hazmat suits. Well, he was no, just, uh, they were just blood yeah, squirting he, on he the. Would, he would just point at things and then pff, their their heads would pop and stuff. It got really horror movie. Yeah. When we have a terrible movie like this, because this is so clear, it's not like there's no confusion here. You know not to spend any money, not to spend time. Oh, and please you don't, don't have to see I mean, it. honestly, I can't beg people enough not to support this junk, man, mm. because it just so will be a blight. So what should they spend their money on instead? They the, should go see Mission Impossible. Oh, it doesn't need to be a movie. It can be anything. What should they put their 12 Well, if you're going to go to the movies, go, go see, see Mission Impossible, Impossible for fantastic. sure. That's I want to go see that again. You haven't seen it. It's really good. I need to see it. It's really okay, good. Okay, well, but you can't offer your yeah, opinion I if can. you haven't seen it. Christopher McQuarrie is fantastic, man. And the you'll love Rachel. I know the woman I want to see. I've looked at lots of photos of her. Okay, she's well. Great. If she has any wigs for sale online, I have money. <laughs> she's uh, great. A movie that you definitely should not watch on Netflix also, and Scott and I will have a review of this soon, What's is that? Staten Island Staten, Staten Island, Island Summer. Summer. Yeah, it's uh, produced by Lauren Michaels. Yeah. I mean, you're looking for something fun. It's August, so it's a little bit of a dearth of entertainments mm-hmm. to choose from. Yeah. So uh, I, I propose that we review this on the show. This is my fault. Yeah. Uh, it looked fun. Ashley Green's in it with a blonde Well, that's why he that's wanted to review it. Bingo. Another, another yeah. reference to I, I think Ashley Green might I be. I know, it. I know. I think... I Guys, think. so what if I'm horny? I'm a real person. Okay? But no, it's summer, there's a little bit of dirt. But there, but there are a lot of um, <laughs> SNL, a lot of yeah. SNL yeah, characters Fred in Arson this. Is in there. Right. You, you have, uh, what's that guy? Well, the Moynihan guy? What's his name? Bobby Moynihan. Bobby Moynihan's But in there. most of the cast that's oh, on SNL now, and yeah. they're all completely wasted. So it's such a waste of time even watching this movie the way it's even strung <laughs> together. The, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but I don't want people to just click into it because it's the weekend now and people they are going to want to look for things to watch on Netflix. Like, it's really their, not good. They're doing their own thing. One thing that Blake uh, did for us, thank you, Blake is here behind the behind the camera. Yeah, Hi, Blake. it is uh, for the show today for the uh, Fantastic Four movie review. I wanted to pair up the uh, Ben Silverman and I reviewing the Rise of the Silver Surfer video game, and so he had to dig into our masters, which are still in boxes because we're still oh, moving. So some that's stuff why around. he has cobwebs all over. Yeah. <laughs> that was one of the first episodes I worked on. That's awesome. Back in 2007, when I was first hired. It's one of the first episodes that Ben worked on, and I made him review a terrible video game. That game is about ten times better than the crap ass movie. Oh but my I, god! I, I have never seen you like this. I, I, I just, like it. I hate. When, I like it too. When I wish you were like this more often. When there's great properties, with, I feel like you're human. Well, I feel <laughs> like this is the first time. I'm like his robot circuitry must be oh, broken. Oh come on! He must not have played Batman <laughs> well, this week. I, I have an appreciation for how difficult it is to make things. Yeah. And, but I also have an understanding of how unbelievably vapid and selfish and stupid and off base and off center. Uh, people can be when they get handed the keys to something wonderful and mm. they totally trash it. And certainly I feel that way every time a crappy superhero video game gets made and that's, a, sure. that's way too often. Yeah. You know, like it's the Thor game. It's to think of these uh, uh, actors all like Miles Teller. Tr- they hung them up to try, yeah, man. Well, no, but I'm, I'm, listen, I'm just saying these guys thought well, we're signing up signing up for something probably pretty big. They were signing Oh, they were up signing like up for sequels. That was, that yeah, was the biggest. Yeah. Yeah. They're like we're, there's so much money coming down the pipe from yeah. this and it went completely wrong. Can and we, it was none I of their that. doing, none can of their we, fault. They can, delivered what they were supposed to do. Can we reenact the ending when they discover their name? Oh god, I I'm, <laughs> I'm just making me angry now. It's so good. I just, it's so great. I wanted to punch this guys, movie. Guys, we need to come up with a name for ourselves. Oh my well, god. Well, there there are four of us. 
So we have to be four of something. Stupid And names. then one guy's like, oh, well, this place is pretty fantastic. Well, I think we're pretty fantastic. Oh, oh I gosh. got it, guys. That's Want to hear it? And that's when the movie ends. That's the way the movie ends. Oh, yeah. Bad. That's the way it ends. I have a question. Yeah. What? The movie, the, one thing I'm interested in from watching the trailers, the movie visually looks kind of cool no. to me. No, it's gray. Do you, do you like the look? It's of muted, it? blue. It's just gray and blue. Because it kind of looks like a 70s science fiction movie. Too. Well, they set it in 2007, and then they make it look like we're watching uh, E.T. at the beginning, you know? <laughs> but I so, like e. It's e. true, yeah. Which is ridiculous. You I know? like E.T., though. Yeah, but that wasn't 2007, <laughs> that was you know? so cute the way you said that. I, I like E.T., though. Um, you know, like, I, I understand. Like, Josh Trank got a budget. I get it. That's awesome. What Bravo. What did Edgar write? Is he part of this? What did he, he wrote the script? He wrote Ant-Man. Oh, he had nothing to do with this. I'm sorry. I want, yeah. to, I want to blame him for some No, Edgar <laughs> Wright should have directed Ant-Man, then we would have liked Ant-Man. Yeah, never, a little, a little never bit never more. Scott Pilgrim? No, but... You know, i got to tell you something, though. Yeah. This is a personal thing. I should probably bring it up offline. Yeah. But I love oh. that Paul Rudd's character was named Scott. There's, not, there's no, never any heroes in movies How named Scott. How could you share that with everybody? <laughs> that should have just been between you and me. Yeah, How did you you just you blasted this out all over the I think internet? He, I think he also uh, <laughs> feels somewhat connected to Paul Rudd because he he's discovered now after watching um, what Hot talented. American no yeah. what yeah. Hot American Summer. He kisses tongue first, which is how I kiss. Okay, that's gross. That's what you that's discovered. Uh, is that wrong? Uh, well, and if the ladies like it for so you, that's not all. Not all cats appreciate that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, he also feels connected to him because he discovered that Paul Rudd has tiny eyes, just like this guy. <laughs> he does. His eyes are so little. He has a nicer shaped face. Oh, but oh my God. So hair. we did. We also watched uh, Wet Hot American Summer first day of camp yeah. that yeah. we're gonna have a review of as well. No, no, no. But we're gonna have a review. But listen. But I saw somebody comment in, in the chat saying that they watched the first episode and it was terrible and terrible. you're right about that the first episode is terrible it really starts to pick up yeah. I think after maybe you three really wanted to quit. I did after the yeah. first one it was bad um, but it gets it gets a bit better it you just have to remember that it's very wacky and it's out there and these guys are all trying to come together again after a really long time after 15 years I'm gonna watch this, this I week. think yeah. it's hard to make anything sure I think it is hard for sure to make a Fantastic Four movie with all the pressure all the yeah. money all these stars all these writers all these egos and it's amazing that anything comes out that makes sense at all. Yeah. And I think, you know, the thing that I love about Wet Hot American Summer, I'm talking about the original movie, not necessarily, we're not reviewing the show, mm -hmm. is that it just, it just, it just, try, it seems like it's just fun. It's just yeah. fun. It's bright. It's colorful. It moves really quickly. Most yeah. of it's lame. But the things that are funny, like it kind of got Was, in was my that heart. a 90s movie or an 80s movie? No, that was a 2001 movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's been a long... Old. Wow, okay. No, but it, that's 15 years. Well, that is almost. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I think of the 80s as a, uh, around 2001 now. Yeah, that's, I know. That's yeah, that's how we yeah, that's think, that's think back on these things. Yeah. But uh, there's also that's this documentary... That's what about Fantastic Four. It's like it's 2007. Like, that's not that, that long ago. Yeah, it makes Why? me appreciate Joss Whedon so much. Oh, totally. yeah, yeah, definitely. We don't give him enough credit. Yeah. There is um there is also a documentary on Netflix as well about the making of Wet Hot. Hurricane of Fun. It's just, it's interesting to watch that as well because you see these actors that literally like uh, Bradley Cooper just left acting school so to be cute. in this he's so precious and he's so new and he's so they're all eager. just he's so <laughs> eager to please so yeah green. and they're all stuck at this yeah. camp together they, they have to all live there with one another like they're all there for a month and they're just there they're stuck at this campsite so I just think it's so funny to see and Amy Poehler she's so young yeah, she's and she's so big. tiny yeah she has such a small face like it's there's her head like it's a regular size but then her face is just this little but even her body face. she's so what tiny you, you like hold up a ruler and, and measure everybody's <laughs> just, head when I'm you watch just, TV I am looking at people and I'm making observations some of those observations are creative I'm sorry <laughs> yeah and how the uh, more veteran actors hung out together a little more than the newer guys it's really interesting to, the, to see the dynamic in the fan footage it's, okay, it's pretty you, cool you guys are making me feel better about life now yeah no it's before. no you know I get like there's I think about that a lot I get so much pleasure from TV yeah from the shows yeah. that I watch and I feel like the pleasures that I get from TV they're stronger than the pleasures I get from even the best movies mm -hmm. it's such an intimate relationship that you have with those TV shows it's the only thing you take to bed and I mean I literally I get into bed I put cats all over me <laughs> and uh, and I get on. Hey, ladies! Well, whatever. I'm just I'm, I'm honest with you, ladies. <laughs> but I, 
But I, yeah, I. Oh, no room let's for talk, you. This is all just humor. And let's stuff. Ta it's let's just talk pass, about Chief's <laughs> diarrhea problem this week. Uh, we need to talk about The Daily Show for one second because somebody just asked if Canadians know about The, ta the Daily Show. Definitely. <laughs> of course, yeah, we absolutely e e love. American. EP Daily. We love, no, we Rich, love John Rich Stewart. Rich and yes, it was his last Rich. episode uh, on Tuesday? Was it on Tuesday on or Thursday. last night? Oh, Thursday. Thursday was last night. Hi, John. We John love you, Voyage. buddy. John's John gonna, Voyage. Uh, you know, I understand He's, John's going to replace me on the show. Is that so what's happening? That oh, forward. my God. You know, when I watch John, I think that Ben Silverman should replace ben, uh, John, and everybody oh. would be fine. It would be this very, very you similar know, I, I type of sardonic honest, kind of humor. I admire John Stewart. I admire The Daily Show. I yeah. don't think I've ever watched one episode of it. I've oh, seen really? little clips of it, and when people share them on it's, Facebook, it's on pretty for late. Annoying me, everyone. It's on pretty <laughs> late. Is it on after nine o'clock? <laughs> it is on after nine. <laughs> okay, I'm in bed. Right? You I are in bed. Yeah. And I like my early mornings. Yeah. Vic, what is this? Make fun of Scott Day? No. He's in bed at this seven thirty. It's Friday. It's Vic's basement. This is what we do. Make fun of Scott. Okay. All right. Guess what, Vic? You're gonna get some from me now. Oh, it's coming. I know. The hurricane of fun. Look at it. The hurricane of fun is about to be unleashed. But look at how dressed up you are today. Can we yeah, talk yeah. about that? Do you have a date after this? No, no I, uh, I'm, I'm selling mortgages when I'm not. Oh. Here to do EP, so yeah, I thought it was a job I can a get you guys thing. a good rate. Three point two percent. Blake has something. Just, just so you guys know, Ben Silverman is in the chat. Ben. Oh, ben. Hello. oh, so we think you should take over for the Daily Show, buddy. Yeah. Has anybody called you? Not they thinking should. that you're the ex-president of the NBC? No, they they should. Sell the magic pants. <laughs> Aww. That's, that's ben, awesome. I, I love you. Voice? No. We do love Ben Silverman. That does not uh, sense, Yeah, so Fantastic Four, don't waste your money. That's well yeah. covered, right? So, <laughs> it's 25 minutes we okay, spent on it. What else has happened? Oh, yeah. Can we talk about Batman? Uh, no. Batman yeah, go huh? people, people want to know what we think of the Deadpool trailer. Oh, the well, Deadpool trailer? Very, uh, very which you can watch on EPN.TV. Yes, you can watch it on EPN.TV. Ryan Reynolds. He's so talented, right? He is. How could you not have hope in him? I feel like he's done so much crappy work. Remember how for great so he was long. in Green Lantern? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's great. Right? Uh, no, he, he he is perfect for Deadpool. Like he is just such a smart ass and yeah. he's so the, cut. It's so funny too. They're filming it here and when I see the trailer, it's hard not to see all of the city it's that we so live Vancouver. In. It's, it's crazy. So Vancouver. It's like the most Vancouver superhero thing I've ever seen. It's it's a little much, man. It's yeah. super <laughs> Vancouver. It's like, like I know where that is, I know where <laughs> that is, I know where those assholes We know exactly that when they shut down the overpass yeah. to film that one scene where they're getting out of cars. Which makes you realize it doesn't have the money. Yeah. To disguise that's Vancouver. Good. Yeah, that's but, okay. Fantastic Four had too much money. Right, and it also makes me think of the Deadpool video game, which I still had fun. I had fun with that thing. It was broken and kind of shitty, it but broken. it was still kind of fun. Kind of shitty. Because of Nolan North and because of the sardonic sense of humor. Oh, man. And the, I think that it's good that they, it's kind of trashy. That feels like the right mix for Deadpool, Speaking right? Speaking of Nolan North, though, yeah. we have oh, to talk yeah. about the fact that Tyrion Lannister, <laughs> Peter Dinklage, Dumped. got... Dumped, got oh dumped off God. of Destiny for Nolan North. Video game voices coming yeah, back. That's hilarious. Into the fold. Well, it's probably too expensive. No, Nolan North probably no. charges more than Peter Dinklage for no, voice no, no, work. No, no, no. I, I, I don't think it was. I don't think it was expensive. I think it was a he's quality just, thing because they're going back and they're re-recording all the voices. Imagine if they did that uh, uh, with me and put Tommy's voice over uh, every <gasps> <laughs> everything I've ever said on the show. <laughs> No. Are you hyperventilating? What's that that would be horrid. I, I think that replacing Peter Dinklage in Destiny is rearranging the, des the, the deck chairs on the Titanic. Because that game will still suck. Oh. oh. As, as a, as Blake. Who said that? Burn. Drop it. As we're covering yeah. Destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, Blake, Blake uh, has every right to say that. He's put how many hours he's into this? Uh, something like 200. Or 200 oh. hours. He so feels he's, very embittered. He has every right Taken to be mad. Fuck that game. Is, oh. Is, oh. Is not making you excited at this stage. No, I'm not. It, taking King is an in is not slap taking your money. To me, yeah. Oh wow. It's not taking my money. Yes. All right. Okay. It's not taking my money. It makes me want to jump back in. No, it's giving. And it also makes me want to jump back in that Nolan North is in there because it was a great gimmick that uh, Tyrion Lannister was in the game, but it was so easy to make fun so of. So true voice gimmick, reads, yeah. You know, and uh, it doesn't and need that. She it sucked. sucked. <laughs> my <Skunk>. cock. <laughs> And he there was a wizard. He doesn't say over there. <laughs> doesn't say any of that in the. Yeah. Uh, no, so I can't believe he's actually going in and, and revoicing everything. I wonder how that made Peter Dinklage feel, though. Okay. Peter yeah, Dinklage has enough going on. He's, he's good. Right. He's good. He's, he's good. Still he's, got paid. He, he still probably has a big Game penis too. He's all right. Oh my God, Lenny Kravitz. Can we talk about Lenny Kravitz? Oh Jesus Christ! Let's take a break now and talk about <laughs> Lenny Kravitz's dog. Guys, Lenny Kravitz's penis. Is it Kravitz's? 
his, Lenny Kravitz his, is gone. Know, right. Kravitz is. Listen, this gif is out there. It's hilarious. I'm sure he thinks it's funny. Listen, I've Vic seen this I, gif. I he I showed Vic the gif. He I've it. never heard him laugh so hard I in have, my it's, life. It's like a pogo stick. I it is just like boo. Vic has a dong. Many of our viewers today they have dongs. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing another man's dong, not the greatest. No, no, thrill. I don't, no it's not that. It's I seeing another thrill. man's dong when he didn't mean excited. to show his dong. <laughs> yeah, I think he did though. I no, I think these pants weren't designed to. Give no, well, I'll tell you what. He, that We're talking about Lenny Kravitz now more than we have in many, <laughs> many years. Back to Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah. No, come on, that was a total accident, which is why it was funny. Just let me know when you're done. I, it's funny, I did, I'm not getting any kind of pleasure out of it. I, I think just, you are. I'm really you not. You talked about it all week. Because it's I think it's, it's so funny. Her pants broke and his dong flopped yeah. out. But it's the way it came out that I'll, was so funny. I'll tell you, Marissa's not the only person that's been talking about it all week. Yeah. Who, who else is? A lot like, of the world. Like the Western Hemisphere, Eastern okay. Hemisphere, okay. Are talking Southern about Hemisphere. Penis gates. How heard, many hemispheres do we have? I've heard no mention of it. Well, you're never on the internet. We were only around us. I on the internet like a week ago, and that's enough. I saw that there was no new way to plant crops, and I got off of that. <laughs> oh, my God. So, anyway, that was that. Uh, Sal Magic Pants, Ben yep. Silverman, yep. says in all caps, Hey, Vic and Scott and Marissa, please discuss the Time Magazine thing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Good, good one, man. The Palmer Lucky uh, photograph that uh, shows us our greatest feel, fears about VR. I, I feel, bad. Image. I feel bad for him, though, because he, like, I really do like Palmer Lucky. Yeah. He's a good guy. You know what, though? Yeah, that he's is, really great. He except he, he, except, except he wore products. jeans and flip-flops, which was Ooh. disappointing he for me. He can do whatever he wants. He he whatever he wants I know, but I he, I just wish that he had shoes on. That's all. You know what? That cover that cover didn't really make me angry because I think that's how most people perceive VR. And that's VR's biggest handicap is they got to yeah. get over that. They have to make us feel like... We won't look like Palmer Lucky on the cover of Time Magazine. But Palmer Lucky, I mean, that's cool. He got the cover of Time Magazine. It is cool, but no one wants he's to look get like lots that. Of things. No yeah. one this wants is to just look the like beginning that. Of the things he's gonna get. Yes, uh, but it is. It's kind of horrifying because it does look like an image that would have been around with VR um, when it was first introduced, and uh, it was pretty horrifying back then. I, you know, we were doing interviews about Jaguar VR back in the, yeah. in the, you know, E three ninety five and. So many times VR has been uh, brought to the top of the mountain and everybody's held it up and said, this, this is the future. But and, now it is. Uh, now it, it feels like we don't have a choice and it really is going to be. But uh, I think that thing is, that image is going to horrify a lot of people. Yeah. They're going to be really scared of it. Can we uh, point the light back on to Ben Silverman? Yeah. Yes. Ben Silverman, ask us another question and the three of us will answer it. Anything you want. We'll give you a few minutes. But what, what people, other do? people can also ask questions, Come not on. just Ben Silverman. I really want to hear from Ben. I want to connect with Ben. Ben, well, you know how I feel. Our hearts are, are really linked. They well, really are we bros. Do love ben. Okay, I have a quick one while you're waiting. Okay, yeah. Because there's a 45 second delay. Okay. Um, Magic Jack 2000 wants to know are you Marvel or DC? Magic Jack 2000. Uh, That's awesome. uh, do you want to start? Are I you Marvel or DC? I can do it. Yeah. I mean, I uh, I don't know. I don't really know how to feel about DC. It's too soon. Yeah. I mean, it's just too soon. I I, I think this, this movie ben, wise, this Ben Affleck thing makes me really terrified. I love the Christopher Nolan movies. I love except for the third one. Uh, but the first two I thought were fantastic. Yeah. It makes me love Batman. I love Tim Burton's old Batman. Mm -hmm. I love Michael Keaton as Batman. His both of them. Batman Michael Returns Keaton's is great. The best and this, I mean, we still can't make a decent Superman movie, and I don't know what Superman Disagree. versus Batman is going to do. Yeah, well. So, so you're a Marvel on, person. I, I guess I don't want to be a Marvel person. I want to be a DC person, but I don't have enough reasons to be a DC person. Marissa, yet. the Suicide well, Squad trailer. It looks very interesting. There are plenty of reasons to be a DC person. Number one, Wonder Woman, mm -hmm. like first and foremost. But there are so many amazing um, animated movies now True. with DC that are so fantastic. I don't want that, those. No, but I, honestly, Scott, I didn't think that I would ever love anything like that either. And they're so immersive. The stories that are telling that they're telling are so intriguing. And you want to keep watching more. And the voice acting as well in these movies, like they just have a great team of talented people putting these things together. And those movies alone are getting me into the DC universe even more. So, um, See, that's, that's kind of the cool thing about yeah. what we do because that's part of the job. And you probably yeah. wouldn't have reached 
reached for those things for as sure. a first choice, and now you've got to kind of get into that space. Yeah. And I have something kind of similar with that because I grew up with DC, and I made a conscious choice when I was a kid not to get into the Marvel stuff. It looked oh. too fantastical, and the heroes looked too. Sega. He also did Nintendo. Nintendo. And, and I did that too. Yeah, you you pick these stupid clubhouses as you grow up, which is ridiculous. I was huh? all inclusive. So, so pick this clubhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Me now. yeah. Well, I uh, I uh, I chose DC, and then Tommy was such a Spider-Man fanboy that I, you know, eventually he he uh, won me over, and I started to pick up some Spider-Man comic books, and I saw what a phenomenal character that was. That's two Tommy mentions. That's all right. We got one he's more to part, go. He's part of my history. Uh, and uh, then he shows up. And then I started to recognize that wait a second, this whole universe that I had been ignoring is all available to me yeah. and I just got into it I got into those animated movies and then the movies started coming out and they were fat, terrific I love the X-Men I stuff question, does and DC the Spider-Man have stuff a, like a Stan Lee uh, they, no they don't have a solitary guy like that they've got um, creators along the way like Julie, Julius Swartz I think and uh, you know Bob Kane for sure so what if somebody showed up in Suicide Squad movie who would it be Oh, like a cameo, Kane, you mean? Yeah. Oh, Is there a cameo person. Bob Kane's gone, unfortunately. The most, a lot of those, because DC's older than Marvel, right? Stan Lee really came into the forefront in the uh, '60s, and he he uh, saved Marvel with the Fantastic Four. Yeah. And he was just about to get out of the comic business, but he yeah, invented you need to watch the that Fantastic documentary Four. Documentary on Netflix is very good. So a lot of the old guard of DC, which is kind of tragic. I met the guy that created the Flash, and he's gone. And I got him to sign something. I have it uh, oh, cool. uh, at home, and it's uh, you know like they're gone. A lot of these guys are are, are a little bit too old. We um, uh, you weren't there with me. Blake and I met with uh, Marv Wolfman at very uh, cool at. Uh, um, I think Comic-Con, that Scott, Comic-Con, you would yeah. really uh, like meeting a man named Scott as well, Scott Snyder. Yeah. He's an amazing writer. Yeah. I know Scott Snyder. Oh, you know yeah. Scott Snyder. Okay, so I just feel like the, they're all these amazing, talented, super humble people yep. that are working uh, with this under the umbrella of DC. Just That's so why like I feel DC like the, the theatrical universe, universe just makes more sense than the Mar- the Marvel feels like it's overpopulated. There's too many abilities. There's there are a lot characters. of different characters. I think yeah. DC feels so simple. And I keep looking, for, I keep trying to find the elegance and the simplicity of the DC universe. And, and I want the movies to sort of celebrate that. Yeah, I, and I think it's working on the animated front. And I think it's working on the TV show front. I think they're really nailing it. I, I mm. have really high hopes for Supergirl. So, I, I mean, I, I love the Marvel movies, and I'm actually looking forward to what the third season of uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. turns out to be. You've gone up and, up, up and down on that uh, Yeah, but I like the Petty Carter, the Peggy Carter stuff quite a bit. So, I, I mean, well, I think different. the correct answer at this stage, uh, Ben Affleck's performance notwithstanding, is both. Oh, yeah, on. they're both great, it's, man. It's, it's, no, they they both they here. both have good pick, and bad. No, I but can't. I don't want to hear about the good and bad. I want you got you to pick one and stay well, on that well, side. Well, can I just say about Ben Affleck? Because this news just started to percolate today. He got a standing ovation by the Warner execs. They saw a rough cut of Batman versus Superman. Yeah, people uh, that gave the movie money already. Yeah, yeah and Kool yeah. Aid was handed out to yeah, everybody. Yeah, but they before pushed. Him. He's pushed back other movies that were on his calendar, and it sounds like they're going to do a three picture deal with Ben Affleck in the role of Batman. Somebody's been quoted as saying he's the definitive Batman. <sighs> Holy All of it smokes. sounds like too much. Christ, fuck ridiculous. Off. But what if he does do this? What if he pulls this off? What uh, if he pulls this off? That would be is Kevin Conroy. So he has a big, oh, big task. Oh, okay. Well, but he's Bale. the definitive vocal Keaton. version of Batman. Oh, Bale but is an incredible Batman. Keaton, man. Uh, okay, Ben has a question for us. All right, Ben. Okay, good. What is okay. it? He wants to know if we're watching the International, the, the Val Dota 2 no. competition. Ben. No. Ben. Fuck off. No. Jesus Christ. That's, I, he, that was a joke. Yeah. That was a joke yeah. question. Does he have to watch that? That's my question for Ben. Is that, is that, <laughs> is that, is, that's part is, of the... Uh, this is all, the only way to respond to that. My, my response to that is that this is just another thing. I'm very bitter about this because this is one more thing. <laughs> one more thing that Valve is doing that isn't Half-Life, Half-Life 3. 3. <laughs> Every time Valve does anything that isn't Half-Life 3, I get very angry. Uh, you know what? I think it's awesome that all of these these uh, tournaments are happening and that there's professional esports players and that there's a lot of ways to get into video games All of this, you know, with all of this stuff. For and sure. I, I don't think it makes great business sense to be ignoring this stuff you know i think that we as content yeah. creators should be thinking about how to cover this stuff more it's than we can it's very difficult to cover and keep it entertaining and it's for very a television there audience. is already that and and frankly games like 
you know, uh, Dota 2 and League of Legends and Heroes, uh, Heroes of the Swarm or whatever, Blizzard, the Blizzard Heroes game, they, they are, uh, you know, they're never ending. They're like, you choose one, it's you choose your clubhouse, and you that's all you play, you know? And I feel like that's a really hard thing for I us to make regular content about on TV. One of the most about, about working in this medium, though, is that the definition of what a video game is is constantly changing. Yes. Because, you know, we're about to get all this VR stuff. We're about maybe four months away from really being overwhelmed by it. Yeah. And the way we think of games and the way we think of games largely is the way we think of TV shows, the way we think of movies and books. They're sort of logical, progressive things. And it's all going to change. And yeah. I love that. And I, I really, I just, I hate that I don't know more about some parts of this world. I know. But it's a big, it's complicated huge. world. And I can't take it all in always yeah. as regularly as I would like to. I, I, and I think with the, uh, like, I think the reason why I personally am not watching the international is because I've never played those games. I still have not played these MOBAs. I still have not sat down and made the time to kind of understand what the hell they would be yeah, talking about. It's, it's very difficult to jump into something like that. When like, We play a lot of games yeah. every week. It's very difficult to wrap our minds and get really invested. You really have to invest your time and your mind yeah. into these things have and just give it, it everything. It? These MOBA games, yeah. they're very difficult to get into. No, no, it, like League of okay. Legends, no, uh, I can't. I thought you knew what you were saying. No, no, I do, but I know that it takes a lot of dedication and love. I mean, I've, I've played some Guild Wars, but... I can't Remember stay guys, in the Soul Calibur Guild, Guild, Guild Wars Those were the days. and MMO and it, MMO. It, yes, it is uh, is Ben? Oh. No, Ben. Is ben getting was getting mad at me because I didn't read his. Yeah, question Ben was getting oh, mad at me. Oh, listen, that so what was question, his question? Is a two out of ten, Ben? Okay, he has another one. Okay, oh, that's and it. I'll read it verbatim so I don't get in trouble. Jesus. Okay, so my real question is: <laughs> Are you people playing Rocket League yet? Question mark. All caps. It's amazing. Okay, I yeah. played it once and I loved it. That's it. We're, that's that. We're done, Ben. We, we <laughs> I've been playing Rocket League. I've he been playing wanted Rocket you to League. send him Question. something Rocket Scott League. specific. I've been playing Rocket League with oh, a number of people who are in the chat right Rocket now. League is free on the PlayStation right. 4, I think, right uh, not now. Not anymore. Oh. No, whoops. You blew it, Scott. Uh, no, bit. Rocket League is just a really... I, I like these summer games that are just like you don't expect them to be anything big and then all of a sudden they are. I like these games things. like that all the time. It's yeah, great. I like for you sure. guys, but listen, yeah. can we talk about something that's really on my mind? What? Yeah. One of my cats has diarrhea. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, listen. But he's not kidding. One of his cats uh, really does have call? diarrhea. Do you want to call him? <laughs> 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 that's the answer. He wasn't answering my phone. He's okay? on line one. <laughs> We were, we were having this conversation earlier. You're not going to like that I'm going to bring it up again. I like to do this once a week. Yeah. Uh, but I'm really, really kind of heartbroken with what's happened to the Vita. Like, I, there's nothing. Yeah. There's You can nothing. play Rocket League on it. The, but the, the, seriously, like, I went from a platform that I had so, such high hopes for. It's just a port to machine. Yeah. nothing. Yeah. yeah, it's a port machine. And, you know, I lost my charger. We talked about this last week on the show. I lost my charger over Christmas last year. I thought it was gone. I haven't charged it or played anything on the Vita yeah. because the charger was gone. And I wasn't that heartbroken. Yeah, it wasn't that I, you know what? Nothing to do and with I it. It's a great platform. I bought the PlayStation TV. I was excited to try to get into some of these Vita games on the TV because there have been some amazing ones, and most of them still can't. <laughs> I, I, I haven't even used the damn thing. I'm laughing at Ben. I'm really sorry. <laughs> ben is like just yelling at Blake <laughs> on the chat. <laughs> okay, but, but go back to your point, Victor. Uh, yeah, PlayStation TV. I, I feel what's happened is Sony has diversified in a bunch of really smart ways. Uh, but I don't think they can manage all of these different verticals that they have. And I, I felt think like they had such good karma after E3. Everybody yeah. was so excited they, from the but last they Guardian. They didn't announce anything on the Vita, though. And they've really they didn't. No, they didn't at all. But we were still excited about Sony again. Well, and I think there's st stuff coming up next year, which is all the stuff we talked about at E3. And I think their big sort of interest right now is Morpheus to see if that's going to do well. I, I actually want to know, I know there's a delay, so nobody can answer me right away, but I want to know if anyone else is having problems with their PS4. Like, I have been sending Victor Lucas. I I feel like I just bother you constantly with my PS4 I, I'm, problems. I'm your tech support. Because, yeah, Victor Lucas is my tech support with many things, but most of this PS4 lately, I have texted him probably 15 <laughs> times at least saying, I'm going to throw this effing thing off my balcony. That is it. I'm done with this PS4. Well, you have an anger I don't problem. I do have an anger problem for sure. You wanted but to take it out to uh, I the, to woods. Get to the we woods. We shot in the woods today. Listen. You'll see that soon. And she I wanted to also, make it. I told you not to watch your porn on the. This PlayStation 
Does, I don't did watch. Did you infect por- your PlayStation Four? No, no, oh, yeah. I didn't watch porn on the PlayStation Four. <laughs> I have had to actually delete everything and start over again on my PlayStation Four. Delete all the porn. Doesn't read discs now. Like honestly, I'm just so irritated. You wanted to do the um, uh, Miller's Crossing scene where, where the I hat want, goes flying through the woods today and just take I, it out and shoot it. I gotta yeah. tell you something though. Yeah. My have PS4, you seen Miller's Crossing? I've never had one problem. With it. Yeah. I, you only nothing. play Bloodborne on it. So. I, I only play yeah. Bloodborne. That's right. It's just <laughs> a Bloodborne it. machine. It's like an arcade machine. <laughs> but unlike on you, I download and play a lot of games in the PS4. Oh, and so guess what? Gauntlet, are you? PS4 was uh, mm. my go-to console of choice. Now it's Wii U, and after that it's Xbox because I'm playing a lot of Splatoon. Yeah, Splatoon's killing it. Okay, so my friend, I want to make sure we hit all of the stuff that you... Okay, did what... We, did we miss anything? Hold up. Uh, Somebody's saying no. only a woman having trouble with technology. Okay, you know what? Come like, on. That's not cool. She, she's got an anger come problem. On. I have an anger problem. I will come at you. One anyway. thing that I would like to gripe about is that Disney just announced new Star Wars Blu-rays. Okay. And they're not the real versions Okay, we were going to talk Wars. about that in the news this week, and we didn't. Okay, yeah. so yeah, we... Uh, Link's right. We have the, the fake versions of the movies. So and there was just a them. viral uh, YouTube clip of uh, somebody comparing all the different deviations that... that yeah, there have been a bunch of those. And uh, yeah, it's really... It's really exasperating because all that special edition shit, we know this. Everybody here knows that. Everybody watching this knows that. It's dated so quickly. It yeah. all looks like video game. But it's it's junk. more than that. If you look at the Blu-rays, like yeah. even even forgetting the CGI stuff, like just the the color timing on the Blu-ray is yeah. so wrong. Like yeah. everything is blue and yes. purple and you like the you can see like Carrie Fisher's makeup, it looks like crap. And then you if you look at screen grabs of an actual print of how the movie was supposed to look, it yeah. looks way better. Yeah. Like there needs to be it's it's a crime. It's an artistic crime that there isn't a proper restoration of Star Wars. Yes. And the Empire Strike. They're two of the best movies ever made. I you have think of the other Star movies Wars that laser discs. Yeah, that's the best <laughs> I have that's the that. best version of the movie to have, buy. Is a laser disc from twenty five years ago. I have the three laser discs. Do you have discs. a laser disc player anymore? Not anymore. No. <laughs> See, it's just a, you can hold it up to but the I, side. <laughs> the reason the reason this is so annoying for me again is because I had I had resigned my fact myself to the fact that George Lucas was never going to release the real version of the movie. You are not about to disparage George Lucas. I'm not. I'm not well, I I, will, I don't I like that he hasn't done it. But the point is, I Batman. the point is, is that when Disney bought the franchise, I, I thought, oh, good, they're going to put out the proper version, and it's been three years. They've released it. This is the first time released or second time now. Yeah. And it's the fake versions of the movie. So yes. I'm starting to lose hope that Disney will actually do Listen, it. Listen, can we adopt that as formally here on the show? The fake versions of the movies. You're right. Yeah. They they're are not, fake yeah, they're, versions they're, they're of the movies. And I, I have a DVD, a very ancient DVD at this point, of the original cut without real those special effects. Yeah. Without that, any but of that the was, shit in it. But that was, that was just a Laserdisc transfer. Yeah. So it looks as good as the Laserdisc that Vic just mentioned. I mean, yeah. it looks shitty, but I'm so happy that I have it. And it is like a holy thing in my house. Yeah. I'm not telling you guys where I live because I don't want it stolen. Plus, they're signed by George Lucas. No, not that one. Oh, okay. George Lucas actually signed the shitty fake version <laughs> for me. So, uh. thanks, George. Uh, but, yeah, I do have the original movies. And, man alive, they are exciting to watch. Yeah. Jesus, I don't want to see a CG frog no, eating a thing. You want to see the grit, and right? Fucking, I, yeah. And you want to see, you know what you want to see? You want to see the dust. I'm so mad right now. On the frame from them shooting on location yeah, in just, Africa. It was a shoot. You want to see the, the dirt. There are people. Stuff. Not much younger than me. People like two, three years younger than me. I'm 28. Who have never seen the actual version That's of Star Wars. Sad. They've yeah. only ever seen yeah, the stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just, everyone looks at it like it's a fucking yeah. animated like they've movie. Never, that's evolving. That, those that's people why have never seen Star we Wars. We need to bury Fantastic Four as quickly as possible. No so that no one about grows about up with this it. as their Fantastic Four. Are we getting too old? I've only seen... This Fantastic Four? No, I've only seen the Blu-ray. Oh, yeah. You've right. never You've seen the never original seen versions? Wars, oh, man. That's I've only seen that's, the trilogy on that's Blu-ray. Not minor- you're not in a minority. Did you yeah. fall off a you spaceship? Don't. No, I'm, I'm a lot younger Most than you, Most people though. our age or maybe a bit, bit younger have never seen it. Today. True that. That's hey, very, somebody very somebody said that Scott looks dashing today. I know. Thank you. I just thought I'd throw that out Is there because it makes you feel Thank good. You, no, it wasn't Ben. Are you just trying to make me feel good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. You did it. Uh, <laughs> you did a good job. Uh, <laughs> okay, so wait. Hey, was there any other news stuff that we missed? Uh, Question yeah, six. Why are you talking Thanks about laser dicks, you old farts? Thing. Jesus Christ. 18 million for those esports kids. That's from uh, Ben. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, some, something <laughs> Thank you, we ben. should talk Tell about because we haven't yet. Not to make things too dire, but... We should talk about how Saskatoon native Rowdy Piper passed away. This is our first episode. Rowdy, so Rowdy, okay. Rowdy Piper. Um, but I'm not a wrestling is, fan. Well, he, he was the star of They Live, yeah, and he was which is the, one yeah. of the best movies ever made. Yeah, yeah, it's a crazy uh, John Carpenter movie, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, well, it's yeah. an excellent. It's one of the best movies ever made. <laughs> okay, it's one of the best movies it's ever up made. Up there be- with Star Wars, behind Wrath of Khan. Uh, no, no it's, be- it's better than Wrath of Khan. Are you, are you picking wow. on Blake? No. I'm not. Are you picking on Saskatoon? No. Never pick on Saskatoon. No. Never. But yeah, I'm Saskatoon native. Anybody. Shout out. But um, the rest yeah, in peace, Roddy Piper. Pour out a little liquor. What happened? Rowdy Heart Roddy attack, Piper. Right? Uh, something like that. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> this year. <laughs> but knows? also, yeah. um, big ups and big daps to Ronda Rousey. Uh, oh, yes. Because Man, we're that all girl, over the place. We, we are, but really that, are. but yeah. we're, we're talking about fighting. I mean, Rowdy I know it's wrestling. Ronda Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. She is. She's won 12 fights. He gave her the title. She's undefeated. What? She's amazing. Really? Roddy She's Piper, Rowdy Roddy Piper gave Ronda Rousey the title before he died. So that's she's, amazing. She's Rowdy Ronda. It's, that's it's incredible. All related. Wow. Okay, I said she, that without screwing up, everybody. She's yes. won 12 fights. Yeah. That's it. And it's amazing, but I want to see what else she has. Okay, but let's talk well, about this for a she second. She also beat up Turtle. I, I, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was that's real. Rush. Um, <laughs> No, but she, uh, you know, we've seen her in a lot of movies now, too, but I'm just wondering, because she kicks so much butt, and she's been really kicking a lot of other females' asses. She fights like a man. Is there, well, that's what I'm saying. Is there a, a way that we could ever see a woman like her take on someone, take on a man no. in the ring? No. Can we ever no. see a man and a yeah, woman fight like that in the ring? I wouldn't want to see that. No, that, yeah, that yeah, would no, be but, but I agree with you. Because, yeah. listen, it's, because the, the genders are very, very, chemically very different. There are certain advantages that men always have what is wrong with why are you no, laughing? That's not at really me? that true. That's There's a, the vagina yeah. is very different from <laughs> yeah, the penis. Yeah, but that's <laughs> that, if a man can do it, a woman can do it. No, listen to me. Listen to me. Okay, listen. Oh. I have low iron right now, okay? I look amazing, but my iron is very low. I just donated blood yesterday, so mine's low too. Listen, we're not talking about your blood donations. <laughs> my iron is low, and you have no idea how that limits me, you chemically. You, I mean, okay. if you've never had low iron, you don't even know what, what I'm talking about, but it is a liability, a serious liability. Women have all kinds of shit chemically that they have to deal with that men don't have to deal That's with. Men true. have their own chemical shit. That's true. They should not fight. No, they're very different right. human beings. Right. They should not uh, fight. Underline. We're just starting with the iron deficiency. That's it. That's all I'm starting with. There's so many others. I know, Blake, you're laughing at me. You're making fun of me. You're I don't know. Blood I, yesterday. What do you want, a medal? I'm just saying, I don't know. I think I, get I, a sticker. <laughs> I feel like if they, she put, she was up against somebody in her weight class like that was like Turtle. She, no, would, just, she would hurt Turtle. I just mean, I, but maybe it would be too embarrassing for a man to lose to her yeah, as well. Like, there's a lot of those nobody things that. that. You know, I was thinking about gays the other day. Oh my God, what is happening right now? Well, we're what were you doing sex. while you were thinking about? Yeah, we were talking about sex. So you're yeah, thinking but I just about think in the future, you know, how we just, we've had this bias for so long. In the future, you're just going to love whoever you love. Yeah, That's of course. That's happening now. It's happening now. No, a lot of people not, are polyamorous. We need another 50 years before we sure. actually officially adopt it, before it works into the, the DNA of our existence. But it's starting to happen now. This is the beginning. Right. And it's exciting. And I, I guess I'm coming out. Okay. But you're you're going to do you? it right now? Yeah, I'm okay. sure. I, I you just try? want love. <laughs> I'm into cats. He, he just wants love. Um, I, I do want to address something else. Uh, the plaid shirt wearing that Vic and I are into right now. Yeah. We just shot a camping special in the yeah. woods. Yeah. Uh, that which you will see. Which is why I'm dressed like this. Which yeah. is why Scott didn't get you'll, the memo. You'll That's understand. right. Yeah. Because uh, he doesn't do camping and he doesn't do the woods because he grew up in his, the woods and his whole life. I don't do anything but plaid. Well, My I mama always said, we're plaid all the time. <laughs> is, is that sling blade? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. We're Canadian, <laughs> and we do like the plaid. So, yes, yeah. uh, we, it was planned today, though. So I came out today. Blake donated blood. What did you two do? You wore plaid. Uh, we were we plaid. We railed against vessels. the uh, atrocity We went to see Fantastic, of Fantastic Four. Four. And we, uh, <laughs> celebrated, right, we celebrated Lenny's dog. <laughs> We oh, celebrated yeah. Lenny Kravitz's happy, penis. Happy it's all over social media. Lenny I sent it day. to everybody, even was, my mother. Was there any other news stuff that we didn't hit? Uh, I think we got all the big stuff. Mighty Number no. Nine being delayed. Okay, that'll be in the show though. We have yeah. a chat Guys, about that. Okay, it's August. Any uh, other questions? Uh, not really. I don't see. You're anything. not going to well, be here next I'm week. Well, I'm not going to be here the next week. Um, so I'm going to miss you guys a lot. Yeah. We might have a guest next week. We're currently negotiating a contract. I don't, you know what? I don't think you guys should have a guest. I really do like the back and forth that you two have when well, it's just the two of you. Well, we like to give and other people opportunities and, and do auditions. And we are, seeing the man, <laughs> we are going to see the man from UNCLE next week, and that's something that I am definitely looking forward to. And you better wear that exact same outfit because it, it'll look like you're from the era. Um, I think I'm just going to move on from that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I will not be here. Yeah, where are you going? Can you say? 
Yeah, what's that? You're, yeah, you're I'm in gonna, Disneyland. I'm going to be in Disneyland. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm glad you found that amusing. I'm going to be, yeah, in Disneyland basically we're doing a lot of uh, Disney stuff. Lots of people go to Disneyland for their change. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I am, um, but something is, is, I'm actually going to be spending my birthday alone. Oh, Jesus. What? It's your birthday? Yeah, Tuesday. I'm going to be spending it. She's going to be spending it alone. I'm it's like, okay. Last year you were, where were you last year? Italy. Italy. With That's my family. That's crazy, right. So, uh, it's, it, I just, I, I find this like to be a really profound adult wow. moment for me to be yeah. spending. I think I'm going to like it. Of course you're going to like it. This is how you spend no, You're your not birthdays. alone. You're with Enzo. No. Yeah, that's true. You're with Enzo. You're, you're, you've got friends no, with, with Enzo. Yeah, he's Italian. He wants to go out for the Italian. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be with Olive Enzo. Garden. I'm. I'm not going to be with Enzo. I'm going to be by myself. Okay. You're just going to close the door in your room and not talk to yeah, anybody. Yeah. I don't understand. Sounds like an what amazing you, guys. I'm not going with Enzo. Is he's he taking a different flight. No, I'm. I'm going by myself. Oh my God! Okay. You're going to be alone on your birthday. I'm, right. gonna, I'm just going to be so like traveling let's solo. Let's celebrate before you. What do you? What do you guys want to do? Before you leave or when you come back. What, what can we, we do? What Should we all sing happy birthday? No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Should we sing no, happy no, birthday? No, I don't, no, like, no. I don't like the song. Also, no. there's a copyright. Oh, that's right. Oh, there yeah. is a copyright in the song. That's Dodge right. The bullet. Dodge the bullet. It's okay. That's no, I'm like we'll, a just, today. Okay. we'll just put a little. Oh, cool. oh, but you need to watch baseball. There's yeah. a lot of baseball happening this weekend. Blue Jays are on fire. So, what are you, you Yeah, what are we watching? What are we playing this weekend? You're watching baseball. I'm watching American Wet Hot Summer. I'm watching Fantastic Four. You're going to watch the Fantastic Four Do not go. Times. No. You don't know, go wish. see Fantastic Four. Go wish. see Mission Impossible. You go see Mission I've Impossible. I've seen it. I want to go see it again. Let's go together. You have a problem. I okay. Think. Let's go see it. But listen, I really wish that I hadn't watched all of Wet Hot American Summer because I looked for Like, I love when you like a show and you're enjoying it and you yeah. know there's more of it. And you yeah. can watch there, it when you go to a, bed. There should be a term of this, for this. Binge depression, depression or binge. Yeah. Bin, binge S guilt. Deprivation. Insult after another. No, have there I should. I'm not insulting you at all. No, binge it, depression. It, it, it's what we all feel. I didn't want to binge's finish. remorse. Binge's remorse. Yeah, I didn't I want like to feel. It. I felt that after Daredevil. I still I want to watch guys, Daredevil guys, again. Guys, I felt that after Gilmore Girls. Okay. <laughs> See? We learned a lot today. It's so funny. Uh, it is like like it is like food because when you're all out, you just go to the cupboard. You're like, oh, there's still no food it. in there. And yeah. You just well, that's it. what happens at the end of. Uh, I know. <laughs> it kind of, yeah. It's kind of a weird sadness yes. that we live with. It's, yeah. I know it's a first world. All right. Okay. Uh, what are you gaming on? Uh, thanks for on? all the playing? birthday wishes, everybody, oh, Bloodborne. by the way. Bloodborne, guys. Play, get some Can Bloodborne I going? I have to go back to it. I haven't really been playing it. I'm going back to more Splatoon. Yeah, uh, Splatoon is so update. much fun. They just did the update. You guys want to play online? Yes. Let's do it. Let's hook it up. I feel Absolutely. like the Wii U is going to come back for me. It's, yeah, it's, it's a great. great machine. It's a it great machine. It is a great machine. I, you know what's cool? And uh, this is dad talk again, but uh, oh, I, I, I booted up and there's a million things to play with my daughter. You know, oh, like it's, it's fun. There's just fun stuff. Are there on any there. games that are Don't download can that play with his cats? Cameleon. Yes. Can I? Yeah. Can we have a glass of Chardonnay and then ask what each other's should, five year plans? Five year plans. You, you yeah. should play uh, Kirby's Rainbow Curse. Everybody's oh, saying Jesus. play Rocket League. Play Rocket and League. More Rocket League. Yes, I'll be playing. Yeah, play, play Rocket League. It's lots of fun. What are you going to do this weekend, Blake? And I'm probably going to play Rocket League with a lot of the people who are in the chat because they're on my PSN friends list. Uh, nice. Also, guys, do not download any porn on your PlayStation 4 because <laughs> it will... Um, Exhibit A. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Vic, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for listening. Stitcher. Stitcher. Have a good weekend. See you next week. Bye, Ben. Bye. Vic's Basement would like to thank its sponsors, EB Games, Nintendo, Xbox, and Gameloft, makers of Dragon Mania Legends, which you can play for free right now. <laughs>